So when it comes to Medal of Honor games, I've either played Frontline or Rising Sun the most. I remember playing this for the GameCube back in 2003, and I had a blast playing through the missions, finding the hidden objectives, and seeing how many ways I could attempt to stop the attack on Pearl Harbor. Rising Sun was the fifth game in the series, and as opposed to most games in this series, took a look at the Pacific theater of World War II. Say hello to Corporal Joe Griffin. Joe is a Marine who was stationed on the USS California during the attack on Pearl Harbor. After surviving the ordeal, then losing his brother as a prisoner of war during the attack on the Philippines, he then takes on the role of an OSS operative in an attempt to stop a dastardly plot by the Axis. You know, when I replayed this game, I sort of forgot how impactful the first two missions are. Along with doing a great job of showing off hidden objectives by allowing you to save more sailors than necessary, the sheer terror and chaos of this situation is shown in great detail. In fact, there are incredibly sobering moments such as watching the USS Arizona sink right in front of you, and you even get a touching speech from your sergeant honoring those who lived through it. Wow. I mean, with all of that, this must really be a very serious and sobering look at World War II, right? <laughs> nope. This game... This game is amazing. So, a few missions in, you get recruited to the OSS. Par for the chorus in Medal of Honor. But your first mission will have you sneaking into Singapore, meeting up with a British commando, stealing a German colonel's uniform, getting called out by said colonel during a secret Axis meeting, then evading knives from a sushi chef on the way out. But wait, there's more! You also get to discover stolen gold, fight guards bonsai charging you with shovels, and mow down enemies on the backs of elephants. I... completely forgot how insane this game was. But you know what? I really enjoyed it. This sort of pulpy writing, contrived escape sequences, and army of one mentality is really reminiscent of World War II films from the 60s, sort of similar to films like The Bridge on the River Kwai. And just as I thought that, this mission pops up. This game literally read my mind. Okay, but silliness aside, how is this title on the gameplay level? Uh, not great. The hitboxes are kind of a mess and the AI is laughably poor. No joke, if you serpentine towards the enemies and stand close by, you can trick them into switching between melee and firearm. Although, truth be told, I did die multiple times by assuming my goofing off meant I was invincible. On top of that, this was one of those early shooters that didn't really tell you where you needed to go. Now, I don't need games holding my hand and literally drawing a line to the objective, but when you're on Guadalcanal Island in the middle of the night when the jungle all looks identical, you may just get lost for a while. Something else worth noting, this was the first Medal of Honor soundtrack composed by Christopher Leonards, as Michael Giacchino was working on Call of Duty at the time. Huh. Well, if nothing else, the main menu theme is wonderful. So, after well over a decade, was this game as good as I remember? You know, not really. European Assault was a bit rough around the edges, but I could at least appreciate it from a gameplay perspective. Rising Sun, however, really isn't all that good from a technical standpoint. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. I was laughing my ass off playing through these missions again and watching the enemies comically grab their toes when shot in the feet. Unfortunately, this game ends on a cliffhanger, and a sequel was eventually cancelled due to poor reception. But when it comes down to it, at least I had fun. And in the end, that's about all I can ask for. So folks, join me next time as I conclude this series by looking at my personal favorite Medal of Honor title.